This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus, and just wanted to talk to you guys in this old gamer rant about betas. Um, had a, a couple of betas over this past uh, month, I should say, I, you know, jeez. Uh, the Plants vs. Zombie beta, which um, I meant to give final thoughts on. I gave my first impressions, and I was kind of like in the I don't know area, but as I played it, I started to adjust to it, and it got a little better. I was still like iffy, um, but at the same time, I did find it enjoyable. Um, not sure if it's a day one purchase or not for me, but. I think eventually I'll end up getting Plants vs. Zombies too, because I still enjoy the gameplay even though it didn't wow me like the first one did when I first laid hands on it. So, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. Uh, you had the UFC beta, which um, it was cool. Definitely cool. I'm not that great at UFC, so I'm not the person that you want to come to for, uh, you know, a real in-depth opinion of it there are a lot of people out there who are really into UFC who you can go discuss uh, find out what you um, truly need to know as far as um, in-depth information but for me it was cool it was solid um, it you know I could see some of the improvements um, from the first one because I owned the first one but again I'm not a you know master at it so therefore I can't uh, give you um, I, at least I don't feel comfortable giving you a definitive um, opinion beyond it was good it was solid um, I think that people are going to really enjoy this um, one especially the ultimate team stuff the ultimate team stuff um, I was, you know, skeptical about because of the way EA Sports does their ultimate team on other brands. But this ultimate team, I think, is going to be their best yet because of how they framed it. Um, if you want me to go in more depth, in, you know, it's a more uh, in-depth um, talk on it, please just let me know and maybe I will um, discuss it. Uh, down the road but anyway uh, then you had the division um, which is kind of divisive right now like it's funny because I'm one of the few people who are kind of in the middle like swaying towards the yes side um, but it's kind of still got my foot like dangling on the no side of it while most people are like either 100% love it or 100% hate it um, so it's been very divisive, definitely, definitely a divisive title, which I kind of expected because as I've said, um, numerous times, it's going to be the destiny, uh, thing all over again with this game. And sure enough, we're kind of getting that same exact reaction. Um, I think just a stronger one because I think the no side kind of has already, um, said this is going to be a destiny beforehand. And we're already writing it off um, once they realized it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Um, whereas the yes side kind of did take a liking to Destiny and um, are looking forward to a more um, in-depth RPG experience mixed with some shooting gameplay. So... Uh, it, it's interesting. It's it's very interesting. Um, of course, uh, the beta for me kind of showed me uh, just an example of how betas are kind of misrepresented in the gaming um, medium. Uh, see, this is what I mean by it being misrepresented is that. I think a lot of times we look at betas as demos, um, you know, like the Destiny beta. The Destiny beta 
was probably one of the cleanest betas I've ever been in. Pretty much, it the alpha even was kind of flawless. There was really no real um, bugs or anything like that. It felt more like just a straight demonstration of what they um, are bringing with the game. Um, at the same time, the division definitely was more of a beta um, because they had plenty of bugs that they needed to address and were testing out thing glitches happening. You know, I've seen uh, people slide all over the floor while walking um, frequently, things like that. Uh, volume issues with chat, uh, sound with weapons, um, dialogue, uh, just all types of stuff. And they got out in front of it and said, yo, this is gonna have bugs, be aware of the issues. Uh, so it seemed more like a beta, and I also think that's part of where some of the negativity comes from, because I was listening to a podcast, or not a podcast, sorry, a live stream earlier, and, a, you know, the live streamer and his friends were talking about it, and, you know, he mentioned the sound thing and how that, he doesn't think he'll, he's going to get it, because he didn't like the sound. But again, this is a beta. The sound in Ubisoft stated the sound may be broken, and sure enough, for some people, it broke. Um, but he's kind of basing his decision of purchase on that. And for to me, that's kind of what you do with the demo, whereas you shouldn't do that with a beta. But we've gotten to the point now where betas have become our demos because they don't really do demos as much as they used to. Um, I think part of the reason is because there have been cases where demos have caused companies to lose sales and companies don't want to go that route. I mean, NBA Elite, everybody remembers the Heart 8 times, Jesus a Glitch video, um, people who played it experienced it. I experienced it when I played the demo. The demo was broken as fuck. And beyond that, it just wasn't a satisfying um, you know, gameplay experience overall. Mechanically, nothing about it was cool. So it was just like that glitch was the, um, you know, cherry on top of the Sunday. You know, it was just bad. And I really feel like since then we've seen demos slip away from the medium. Um, whereas betas now have become the thing. I think partially because. As a company, you can kind of hide behind a beta. You don't have to um, be held totally accountable for what the, the issues because, hey, this is a beta. We're testing this to find out what the what the hell is fucked up about this game. So we're, we'll fix it down the line. But, of course, because this is our only shot to get a taste of the game before it releases... And a lot of companies tend to release these betas extremely close to release. We're starting to use these as our, you know, demonstrations of this game that's telling us the t exactly what we're getting when it's not necessarily always that way. Um, I remember people talking down about Rainbow Six in this beta form. Full game comes out, they love it. You know, things like that. Um... I remember issues with Star Wars Battlefront. You know, people had problems with the way that they um, balanced the Walker assault. They came back and they adjusted that. Now it's fine, you know. But sometimes people don't think that it will change. And that's where we're getting, a, like, misconstrued kind of, um, you know, a misconstrued message from betas. Because some people do it in more demo fashion like destiny um some people are actually out to really test the test these games we don't know anymore with beta so betas have become kind of like you know a mystery in a way because sometimes we we get things that we're not expecting and when we get what we expect we're thrown off because we've been you know given solid betas like the UFC 2 beta you know that felt more like just you just pulled out 
a piece of the game to show us as a demo that's been shored up just to push sales you know what i mean so eh it is what it is maybe one day we'll get back to a more traditional structure um maybe they'll leave betas in a closed uh fashion more often than not whereas the demo is the more public display of things who knows um we'll see but i would like for um demos to be more frequent and betas maybe to be less or at least pushed further um back so that they're not so close to release so that they're not the lasting impression like they've been made to be in the gaming community but anyway um as always you guys hit me up let me know what you think and i'll haunt you later this is your boy black makers and i'm out deuces